guys, happy Friday. Hey, I had to quickly share, I like super low battery, but um, I've been seeing more and more of this pop up and I thought I would pass it on to you guys because when I find a natural remedy or something that will contribute to um, overall wellness and it's holistic, like that is like beaming and screaming at me to just try and research and implement. So um, I wanted to tell you guys about it. Uh, and you guys have probably seen it pop up. If not, you probably will now, but it's kind of dubbed as na uh, nature's antibiotic, um, and it's oregano oil. Um, I use doTERRA. I'm not a rep. I'm not um, pimping the line, nothing. I'm just giving you uh, an experience and something I wanted to pass on to you guys because we're in the thick of cold and flu season. Hi, Terry. And nobody wants or has the time to be laid out. So I thought I would pass it along. And I wanted to share with you guys, and I'm gonna read them from um, a reputable site. But I will say, I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm not a nurse. I'm not anything. I'm just a mom of four that is passionate about holistic remedies, natural health care, um, and you know, wellness, ways. I mean, there's so much that we don't explore enough. Um, and I'm one to explore it first before rushing off to the doctors, um, because I would rather take nature's antibiotic than go take a pharmaceutical antibiotic. So, and fortunately, knock on wood, um, our household has been relatively healthy. Um, and I think that there's ways that the kids can use it too, but just depends on their tolerance. Again, you guys, do your research, okay? Don't just say, oh, well, Taryn said it, or this random chick. Um, say hi, husband, hi. Um, he just came home for lunch. Um, but just because I say it doesn't mean that it is right for everybody, but I do think you can't go wrong when it is a product of nature, right? So, but you know, you can overdo good, a good thing because um, when you're using essential oils like oregano, it is a very hot oil, so um, you should never apply it neat and you should never just drink it neat as well. And when I say neat, that means like just dumping it on your hand or on your face or, you know, in your mouth because your mouth will be on fire. Anyways, I'm going to share with you what I use it for. And now you guys, actually funny enough, Whole Foods, uh, I noticed carries a bunch of oregano oil lines. So probably varying companies because I think people are becoming, again, more aware of more holistic practices and so oregano oil is so powerful and so potent and it's been used like where have we been for like dinosaur ages um so this is awesome um christy i bet you probably are like yes oregano oil um and i know she is a rep for young living um and but very much into the holistic practices as well so um again i'm not necessarily pimping doTERRA i'm just sharing the oregano oil um, and the fact that I've deemed it to be nature's, I haven't deemed it to be nature's antibiotic, but others have um, for good reason, okay? So this is what I've been doing. We get these little like small Dixie shot glasses um, and I put one drop in there into some filtered water and the little secret weapon is baking soda. Just like an eighth of a teaspoon, mix it up and literally like sh get to the back of your throat. Cause if you let it get on your lips, it can kind of like burn a little bit and you know, not uncomfortably, I kind of, you know, it's like warm, but um, the properties behind oregano oil, I'm gonna explain them to you here shortly. Um, let me just get to that site. Um, it is like well known for its immune boosting properties because it is, um, well, let me just rattle them off here. Um, it's an immunity booster because it's um, antibacterial, antimicrobial, um, antiviral. I mean, people use it for cleaning. People use it for obviously wellness practices. You can use it as skincare. You can use it for infections. Um, so, you know, it's an antioxidant. It's great for digestive issues. It's an anti-allergenic. It is anti-parasitic and anti-inflammatory. So the list that Oregano oil is good for, goes on and on and on. Um, and you can go Google it, like go to Dr. Google and go search it yourself. But these are just a few things that I popped up. Um, there's like 21 ways that you can use it, depending on what your needs are. But because we're in cold and flu season, I thought I would share what I just, um, we've been doing, my husband and I too. Um, my older kids will take it. I tried in all honesty to give it to, um, my youngest, because she had a cold not too long ago, which, you know, it, her cough lasted a while and had, you know, she was able to, to 
managed through that, it probably wouldn't have, but we used elderberry syrup for her, which is amazing too. Um, but again, a drop of the oregano oil, a little bit of baking soda, and put it into literally a shot glass of filtered water and shoot it back. Um, it does amazing uh, immune boosting properties. You can also um, put it in a bowl of steaming water and like put it your head over with a towel and just let all of the um, all the senses and just be stimulated by the the potent uh, oregano oil. You know the leaf or the stem from the oregano oil, which. Uh, I won't go into all the scientific behind it, but if you breathe in the vapors for like five, 10 minutes, then that can really help open up the sinuses and probably break down any bacteria or you know any lingering virus that might be uh, in your head. Again, I'm gonna say it a couple times, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, but I'm a mom that is going to look to the better solutions that we might have in the household to get everybody healthy or to stay ahead of the game. I'm more like, hey, I'm gonna be proactive about it just because I know it's on the shopping carts, it's on door handles, it's at preschools, it's at my kids' school, and you know what, come hell or high water, I'm not gonna get sick, I don't got time. And I was just on a flight, so I don't wanna come home for that either. Um, you can gargle with it if you have a sore throat. You could put it in some warm water and you could just kind of gargle, you know, you could do that with salt as well. Um, that is pretty beneficial, but the um, antibacterial properties of the oil will start to ward off um, and any bacteria that's lingering in there and then any inflammation uh, because it's an anti-inflammatory too, which is really cool. So it'll help soothe any aches um, or anything that's just kind of like inflamed in your throat, okay? So think about that too. Um, if you got a cough, you could do the inhalation thing. Um, you can rub it with a carrier oil. Again, don't do it neat. You don't want to just put it on your chest. You might have a little bit of a burn on your skin. Um, ear infections, rub it on the outside of the ear with a carrier oil. Don't get it inside the ear, but you could rub it on the outside of the ear and it actually will help ease some of the pain. Um, digestive issues, uh, you could put it into a warm cup of water. Um, and make a tea out of it. But you guys do your research on oregano oil because there are some really cheap brands out there. I wouldn't necessarily suggest going to the grocery store and getting whatever kind of oregano oil you can find on the shelf or even using like the dried oregano seasoning. That's not gonna cut it either. It's just not potent enough. I would look into doTERRA or Young Living. Um, Christie's giving some really good information on here too. Um, but you know what, there's so many great things that oregano oil can offer that I don't think that we use or understand. I mean, if you've got allergies, especially going into spring, people's you know um, congestion starts to flare up and it's allergy related, eyes get itchy. I mean, there's so many things. It has to be 100% therapeutic. Christy is spot on with that. Um, it works for acne, um, cold sores. I mean, seriously, you guys, the list is on, goes on and on. Just go ahead and just Google it. But I just wanted to share it with you because I know a lot of friends are um, are suffering through colds. You know, the flus hit their, their household. My friend Dana, she is a nurse. Um, she uses it as well and, you know, has been able to escape the flu that's gone through her household and, you know, the long-standing colds that exist with kids that are in grade school. I mean, it's just like they pass it from germ to germ, person to person, and then, you know, bring it into the house and every kid gets it. But if you can stay ahead of the game, um, it's really great uh, to be able to, if you can get, um, you know, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say start like shoving it down your kid's throat because it is such a warm oil that it could be too much for them. Um, you know, just having baking soda and water and a little shot glass for your kids can, can do really well too. Um, but elderberry syrup is awesome. And if you can make your own elderberry, if you're local, I have a girlfriend, her name's Holly. She's, um, she's got her own, it's elderberry Seattle. She makes her own elderberry. So that's another amazing uh, immune booster to stay ahead of the colds and flus. We've got one that our, um, our little friend Magnus, our neighbor made and with raw apple cider vinegar in it. And so, you know, I'll swig some of that back. I am like down for any way to stay ahead of the game and either shorten any window of colds um, or, you know, heaven forbid, flu that comes to our household. Fortunately, we have not yet. Um, so we're lucky, but I think it's because of the practices that we have and we've, you know, instituted when we know that it's circulating. Um, but hey, every household's different. Um, but also, um, I think the more aware and more willing you are to kind of do some research instead of running off to the doctor and having them prescribe something that is just going to break down your gut health, which you need to have proper gut health if you want to ward off 
because you know when your gut health and your pH is off, that tends to be when you get sick. Um, and you know that could be from food, that could be from stress, that could be from inactivity, it could be from lack of sleep. You know your pH and your gut health all kind of goes you know hand in hand and. Um, you know, when all that's off, then that's how we tend to get sick. So just wanted to pass that stuff off. Um, lots of really good stuff. Uh, Christy is sharing a lot. If you've got your own tricks and tips that you've used oregano oil for, I'd love for you guys to share them on here if you're on live or if you're catching the replay. Um, I love that we could just share. I want this to be kind of a community opportunity for us to share different practices that we have to help keep our families healthy. Um, I think the more awareness we can bring to things that maybe exist in your household that you'd never thought to use. I mean, baking soda is like age old and has so many different health benefits, um, not only like internally, but you know, cleaning and all that good stuff. So anyways, I just wanted to pass on my little bit on oregano oil and how powerful I think it could be, especially for cold and flu season. So I hope it was helpful. Christy, thank you for sharing what you've been. Hey, Brittany. Um, I know you got tons of stuff up your sleeve too. Um, so if you got any good ones to share, then, um, then let me know or just pop it below. We'd love it. So um, anyways, you guys, I hope you have an awesome Friday. My battery's going low, so that was my cue to pop down, but um, hopefully gave you guys something to think about, and uh, next time you're passing through Whole Foods, look at the oregano oil, or reach out to somebody that you know is with a reputable company. Um, doTERRA is what I use. Christy, obviously, is a young living rep, um, and there's lots of... Uh, Claudial Silver is amazing and activated charcoal. I mean, like, I feel like there's a laundry list of things. I take activated charcoal before I go to bed. Um, Claudial Silver, I took when I was traveling and when I came home, I get the spray and I put it up my nose. Um, as because, you know, when you inhale, then you, you know, that's where all your nose, in the nose hairs, the bacteria starts to um, percolate. So, been able to stay healthy during flying. Um, so lots of good stuff. If you guys got questions, let me know, send me a message. Otherwise just scroll through and read some of the comments cause there's going to be some really great, um, I think holistic practices that you guys might want to implement or just research again, do your own research. Don't just take it from me or any of the comments here. Um, but you've got to arm yourself with knowledge and information from reputable websites. I'm happy to share where I go and get my information. Just send me a message and I'm happy to give you some direction so you can kind of go and peel back the onion a little bit yourself. All right, you guys, I hope you have an awesome weekend. Hope everybody stays healthy and ahead of the game or cuts down the colds and flus in their household some way, somehow, um, or by an act of God. So I um, hope you guys are great. Bye.